What is up, everybody, and welcome back to This is the Waypoint, the one show here on Shared Screens where we talk all things Star Wars. And my God, do we have a special one today for you. It's the first ever Star Wars Awards, a.k.a. Woo! the Star Awards. And I, I figured I'd do this as a way, you know, to celebrate this year in Star Wars. It's been the biggest year we've had in Star Wars since 2019, arguably. And what a better way to recap and celebrate it than to, you know, have a throwback, have some discussion, and vote on some favorite topics. And here, to have those discussions and to vote are my beautiful boys. I got Alec Bobko. I got Christopher LePak, Rumble Pack himself, and my man, Jim Tasty. How y'all doing today? Fantastic. Uh, Tell ya, I'm ready to talk some motherfucking stars! <laughs> Let's recap this, man. Let's recap this. All right. So I've I put Sorry, together boys. some categories, some fun categories. Uh and let's just let's just get into it. Let's just let's just jump right into the into the award show with the first category up. Also, these guys have no idea what I've brought to the table. It's nope, just a, it's just all. a long PowerPoint. And, uh, <laughs> wait for it. yeah, the best... In the pre-show, he's he was like, "I got the this this presentation that we're gonna do." And in his screen share, like, "Okay, we'll figure this out." And he goes, "Yeah, it's fifty five slides." I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, but we're here for it. We're here for it. So, first category. Let's let's get into it. You can't be Star Wars fans without a great collectible. And my God, did we have some great ones announced and released this year. First runner-up, if, uh, if you don't mind. We got the Cal Kestis Legacy Saber. Oh mm -hmm. my God, dude. They finally did it. It's awesome. It's incredible. Yeah. Only we screamed available. about it for months. For like, I, I think like it. a year. Like, Because like, oh, yeah. they, they were like, hey, we're going to do it. And then we were like, when's it come out? And then it just <laughs> came out one day. And then we made the best yep. thumbnail where we put Josh's face on <laughs> Oh, it was perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. It was perfect. All right. We did that. Next one up. Yeah. Oh, Lego BD1. Our boy I've, finally ooh. brought the Lego form. I've passed this or passed by this so many times in the store. It's like, if it wasn't $100. Right, right. I'm like, this Dude, I saw it on sale down. for like 60 the other day, and I was like, I can't right now. Oh, I would have fallen. That would have <laughs> been instant. Yeah. Instant. <laughs> and speaking of Lego, we got another piece. Right up next. Dude, <laughs> come on, man. You're going to give my boy Mando the uh, right? N1 Starfighter. Oh, Maybe the Lego one. set. The mod. How dope is yeah, that? Yeah, Just brought it out in one, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and one last one for this category here. For all my Black Series fans, we can't have a collectible thing without some Black Series. All my all my Rogue Squadron fans. Not Rogue Squadron. What am I thinking of? Oh, look, Mando. Oh, God. Republic Commando, thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, Slip of the brain. It's been a long one already. Black Series Delta Squad. We're still missing one, uh, but they've dropped. They've announced and dropped all three of these this year. Incredible, incredible. So if we want to go to the voting, yeah, screen, I think we're mixing the main man himself, right? The one you play as. I can't remember his name. That's the one boss. in the middle there. Yeah. Boss. Yeah, we got Boss Hunter. I am in the middle. Did he have orange paint? I don't remember. You play the game in first. Torch. Torch. It, Torch is the one we're missing, I believe. Oh uh, yeah. Played, yeah. So. I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, Fair yeah. enough. No, he's Fair right. enough. Worth it. Worth it. But if you want to go on to the next slide there, just a voting slide, just you know, going over everything we mm -hmm. got. What what are we feeling, boys? What was the best Star Wars collectible announced released this year? We, we got some heavy hitters right off the bat, dude. Mm -hmm. First category. First category. I I personally gotta go with the Cal Castus Legacy Saber. Like, come on. It, it's one of the best looking sabers in the in Star Wars. Valid. And I, I know some people like the clean hint, the clean hilt we're about to get in Survivor, but I, I there's do. nothing, there was nothing dope, like nothing that just the broken off thing, like hilt, mm -hmm. knowing that yep. it was about to be reforged into a double saber, and that like first teaser poster with the broken saber, like my god, dude, it just it looks so yeah. Good. And, what, and what's cool is that the legacy saber is like if you buy two of them in the package, it comes with a connector to where the broken bit unscrews. You can turn it into a double a double plate as well. Oh, now, yeah. great that that'll cut well, running like three hundred dollars, but you can do oh, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Chris, what are you feeling here? Look, man, y'all know how I feel about Galaxy's Edge. 
It's one of my favorite places on Earth. Y'all know that I am also just a lightsaber guy. I really enjoy lightsabers. The quality of the Legacy Sabers, is like, similar to the Ben Solo one that I hold in my hand, is, is just unparalleled. It's real metal. There's a lot of weight to it. It's in, And it's like for somebody that if you ever thought about like getting like heavier into lightsabers, like for what they are, like for the price, you can't you can't beat it, right? Like all the right. like the super high collectible like like rarity ones are much more expensive than than what you get from from mm -hmm. Galaxy's Edge, but the quality is is still really really there. The Calcasta saber is way too cool to not vote for. Like it's 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 one of the few times that we've seen something from a from a video game, specifically a, a, a Star Wars video game, actually be able to get realized in in, in real life. It's not something that just, that really happens all that often happens. outside of like action figures. You know what I mean? And it took years yeah. for them to start even making like Knights of the Old Republic figures, right? And so to right. get a, a, the Jedi Fallen Order saber like that is is way too cool. So I gotta go, Cal. Valid. Brett, how you feeling? Uh, I'm going to submit a write-in vote, and I'm going to go with the Django Fett hot toy. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, Brett, I was this close. I was this close, man. I was like... This clean. It's, it's clean really good. The hot toys figure. are good it, stuff. It is a clean-looking figure, and that is... Uh, that's actually... That's a valid vote. That is a valid vote. I was like, yeah. I was this close. Some categories have five, some are four. I'm like, this one could be four, but I was... You get the close, bounty man. hunter. You get some bounty hunter like gear. You get some of the movie gear. So they they do. Valid. Valid. <laughs> I mean, I'm a slut for an N one starfighter, but uh, BD one's the best droid, and I think having that one to one scale in Lego mm -hmm. form is uh is something special. And you know BD we we talked we talked about uh BD one to one, uh and we talked about having something realized in real life, but we had something realized one-to-one -one scale with lego bd but calcasus saber takes it at the end of the day and that's a that's a valid answer please hasbro just make it a full release uh please i'm begging you everywhere. please wide release in stores why won't you do it why do you hate us <laughs> i'll say bd1 was a cool yeah. very close second like i almost very voted close for bd1 yeah oh yeah it was really oh, hard yeah. to not vote for my boy he is the oh, best yeah friend. it's true mm-hmm and now let's move on to some of the shows. We had tons of shows this year, this year, and we got some categories to reflect all of that. You know, mind bringing up my next category here. We have funniest moment, Ooh. brought to you by the Shared Screens podcast, the one podcast here where there's tons of funny moments from time to time, and uh, you should absolutely click and uh, give it a good check, a good watch, like, support, all that stuff. But funniest moment, let's get right into it. We got the slowest chase ever from Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> if y'all remember this. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to vote for that. <laughs> there's no beat. There's just, no you, beat just you wait. Just you wait. You oh, know? gosh. Our, our buddy's trying to uh, escape, and we got the Power Rangers on motorbikes chasing him. And it's just. Yep. It was a time. It was a time in Star Wars this year. We got to remember. The mayor's assistant. <laughs> mayor's assistant. Next category, please. Or next. Next uh, nominee, we got. I knew you were gonna fucking put this one in there. <laughs> we got Obi Wan Kenobi, Kenobi sneaking Leia out of Fortress Inquisitorius under his jacket, and there's just there's like 500 stormtroopers. None of them notice. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. It's, it's like, like fucking. It's like uh, what's it called? Little Rascals. Like, yes, like, dude. People in the trench coat, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And our our next nominee. Serial <laughs> guitar, man. Nothing, nothing funnier Thanks, than being down on your dumps and being stuck at home with your mama and just eating, eating some space. We Cold watched him eat cereal for like six <laughs> weeks. That's like all he did, <laughs> right? And every every time it came back up, I laughed, dude. I giggled. It was the <laughs> Look shit. at this. Look at this fucking dork and his goddamn <laughs> Cheerios, what bro. Like, what was <laughs> it? it? Was like fruit or uh, tricks or something like that? It was uh like, trick. It was like tricks puffs uh, that also like came mm -hmm. with marshmallows, and they took the marshmallows out and and made it because like, they, they already looked like spacey. Or something like yeah. That. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And our next, uh, our final nominee for this category, we got three men versus <laughs> yeah. one child. Yeah. The best, you know, <laughs> second notorious <laughs> chase scene where three goons can't give <laughs> can't give one five year old girl. And one was like a famous <laughs> actor, right? Oh, yeah, flee from yes, Red Hot Chili flee. Peppers. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> she knows the forest right. better than they do, man. <laughs> she, exactly. You know, she's she's wily. <laughs> <laughs> and so that brings us to our voting for this category. What uh, what are we feeling? Oh, I'm still I'm feeling? still down for the slowest yeah. chase ever, <laughs> <Right>. man. <laughs> yeah, 
Can I submit another another candidate? <laughs> oh no! Absolutely. Um, when Obi Wan beat Darth Vader's ass and then walked away. That was pretty funny. That was pretty. Funny. I was see. Was... I was. I was gonna go the opposite way of when uh, Vader beats the shit out of Obi Wan and then won't go get him because there's a little bit of fire. <laughs> right. He just rolls him around in the fire. <laughs> it's great emissions there. Some great emissions. Um, God damn. Uh, I'll go first this time since I went last mm. at the end there. Absolutely. Uh, man, these are a lot of good choices. I'm gonna go three men versus one child. Uh, because the in that chase scene, you know, respectfully, right? Like <laughs> these grown men are like not are, like this little kid's like outpacing these three like adults, and then <laughs> she's like turning a little bit to the left and right, and like they just like completely like lose track of her and stuff like that. She's juking and, and jiving, man, juking and jiving. It was some real like Home Alone shit mm, for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So I go with three men and one <laughs> child. All right, I like it. I like it. Hey, Chris, Chris you're still doubling down. Slow I, chase yeah, from Book of Boba I go Fett. with slow chase every Book of Boba Fett because it's played so seriously, in yeah. in in only the way that um that Robert Rodriguez can can direct, right? But they're yeah. going like a mile an hour. Like it's <laughs> it's <laughs> there's and no tension whatsoever. For- and this is right after they spent an episode like. Doing this rad fucking train heist with the Tuscans, right? Like, and yeah, and then this is the next thing we get are are these Power Rangers on their little <laughs> scooters chasing after the the dude that voiced Pleakley and Lilo and Stitch. Like, I don't, it's, I don't like understand they, what the fuck's they happening. Got to speed up the footage and edit. And edit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's like they didn't alter any of it. <laughs> that gang is complaining about not buying water, and they they have like eight million dollar credit, like Mopeds. bikes, bro. <laughs> And their gang is like three people. That's not a gang. Yeah. <laughs> three people is not a gang. You just people. don't understand what it's like out on the harsh sands of Tatooine, okay? And if it wasn't like already funny enough, then then they walk out a painting in the middle of the road, trying to cross the street with a fucking just massive <laughs> painting of the mayor. They're trying to get that across the street. Oh, guys, fucking swerving and weaving into. Oh, uh, what do we do? Where cart. do we go? I might have to go that one as well. I, yeah, you know what? Lock it in. Slowest chase ever for me. Alec, but, you, you there as well? Fact, that, that painting is also uh, some original Star Wars concept art, too, done by Mal- Actually, Ralph McQuarrie. I can't. I got to go. I got to go with the jacket. The jacket's too egregious for me. I I, I revoke my vote. I revoke about, my vote. All right, Alec, the potential tiebreaker oh. here. Or do I go with the four-way tie? <laughs> <laughs> Just go serial card. Yeah. <laughs> Let me submit one more. How about when Boba Fett meets with a bunch of gangsters and uh, they all pinky promise not to betray him, and then they betray him. And then him. they betray him. <laughs> the the uh, mission for this one was Boba Fett chasing that little robot around the kitchen in Jabba's palace. Oh. That was the one. Of, I was like, that was funny, but you know, I, uh, I just yeah. felt more bad for the mm. tiny little uh, robot, dude. Yeah, the one that looked like the thing that. Ian McGregor builds in, in the movie Robots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I do have to go with the slowest chase scene ever. Just Valid. after talking Valid. about it, it like reminded me of like how <laughs> slow and how ridiculous <laughs> that was. It was really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go look it up on YouTube right now. Man, Obi Wan <laughs> though sneaking out like because he almost got out of it too. Like right. Maybe. If you if you search Book of Boba Fett chase. It auto completes the chase scene Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Slowest chase scene ever takes it. Let's uh let's move on to our next category here. Saddest moment. You know, Social we gotta vibes. gotta have that contrast. I, I spent I, I found myself crying in the club at many of the moments uh, while watching Star Wars shows this year and it's categories to honor that. So let's uh let's get into our nominees. Let's cry in the club a little. Be in our feels. Mm. Kino can't swim. Mm. Right off the right off the bat. What well, just a heartbreaking a heartbreaking end to this episode. Just this image alone. Just right? Right? Why you gotta wound me like this today, man? He's he's hopeless. He's he, he's desperate. And we we still don't know. We still don't know. And we may never know. And that's it's kind of the beautiful thing about it is it's left up to the imagination and we can take it in our own directions, but still heartbreaking nonetheless in the moment. Let's go on to our next nominee. 
We got Obi-Wan confronts Anakin. Another heartbreaking moment. Beautiful lighting, the contrast on the two. Finally have a conversation again. They they see each other eye to eye for the first time, you know, eye since Mustafar. Yeah. I like the the light switch. Like you see an Anakin right? blue and then the, the goes to the red and oh just cinema. It's cinema. It's cinema. Cinema. That's the cinema, cinema. Right? cinema. Exactly. <laughs> Our next moment. Another one from Kenobi mm. from the finale. As if that didn't already tear your heart out. Uh, one last conversation between uh, Obi Wan and Leia. I'm saying goodbye. Absolutely heartbreaking. Him saying that there's a lot of his, a uh, lot of her mother, uh, in her, and uh, that she'll go on to do great things. Just my God. Yeah, that one hits. That one hits. And our final one to hit yeah. is going to be the Tuscan Raider oh, cam. Got Murr. Spent a couple episodes bonding with these guys. Finally making Tuscan Raiders. Like really compelling characters, like like a lot of lots of people shit on Book of Boba Fett, uh, and there's like definitely some rightfully like some criticism that's like warranted for sure. But like I feel like people forget how like there are some banners in there, oh, and yeah. the Tuscan all the Tuscan Raider stuff is like incredible, in my opinion. And uh, to have the Pikes wipe out the uh, this tribe that he built a bond with, he snorted space lizards with these guys, and they're all dead now. Like. Just hits, just uh, hits differently. But that's that's all our nominees for this category. If we uh, if we want to go ahead and do you uh, do do you mind if uh, I go first again, just real fast? Because because uh, I because I got something to say. One is that while we're doing write-ins, I did also just want to kind of like give a shout out to uh, the death of Nimic uh, and Andor yeah. as as well. Just yeah. <laughs> bright-eyed bushy-tailed and and just wanting to, to do the best and just stolen from us and and it's not like they don't make a huge moment out of it too which i think is is, oh, yeah. is incredible about about andor it's just eventually going in and he's like sorry i did everything i could wrong and, place and, wrong and, time and just move on yeah um yeah, that, uh, that said so i think i think my personal vote as much as i want to vote for Obi Wan confronts Anakin again, just as somebody that, like all of us, we grew up with the prequels, why don't? And and I think that moment hits really, really hard because that's that's something that we've kind of always like wondered about seeing for for a really, really long time, and it's acted very, very well. Uh, the of course that that line of like you know it's like I'm not your your failure, Obi Wan, and that whole conversation, incredible, just am- amazing. I do think it's undercut a little bit by Ben just kind of leaving immediately after that you know, you know what i mean i love that conversation i love that moment it's perfect and then he just kind of leaves a- after that so i have to give my vote to kino can't swim to 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 watch kino give everything that he, that he has for a goal that he cannot that he can't himself grasp which is then of course mirrored later by the by the uh the 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 monologue given by uh why can't i remember his name bootstrap bill uh guard yeah, thank you, God. Yep, yep. Uh, t- talking about the same thing, it was like, hey, with the rebellion, I'm building something that I'm probably never gonna gonna see. Like that, that parallel there is awesome, and 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 like, hmm. yeah, it just it just hurts. Sometimes I still think about Kino. I'm like, I really hope he fucking lived, man. Like they can't just do that to me, you know? Like Island. that that's Island. a that's a scene out of a show like built of incredible other scenes that I still think about that one to this day. Right, one way out. Um, one way out, and uh, you like. You know, obviously, give your shout outs, give your write ins, all that. Uh, I'll, like, definitely. My shout out slash admission uh, is the old guy dying in the prison. That was, that was Damn. watching him deteriorate yeah. throughout the that episode, like, was and to get there in the end was just heartbreaking. But I just, yeah, these ones, these ones pulled at me. These were like personal punches to me. So that's, that's why that one got, uh, got dropped. Any, any any other voters? What what do we want to? What are we feeling, y'all? What are we feeling? Yeah, I'm very similar to Chris. Of like, it it's hard for me not to vote for Obi Wan confronts Anakin. Just knowing the you know the what happens in Episode Four and all that. And right. Man, just like you said, like the moment where Obi Wan like tells Leia how much she's like Padme, like that just pulls yeah. the heartstrings. Yeah, but God man, damn. Andy Circus though, like he killed it as Kino, yeah. like enough to like just like, um, just en- encapsulate that role of like the leader that like 
eventually figures out that they're never getting out of here. And right. just capturing that role so well. And mm-hmm. just, just like making it so believable and just seeing the emotion on his face when they're right there. They literally just have to jump off and right. swim. Exactly. And he just can't do it. Yeah. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking for sure. That's your final vote locked in. Yeah. Brett, how about you, man? Um, so I'm going to do another ride in and I'm going to go right. with, <laughs> this is a serious one though. I'm going to go with mm-hmm. basically all of the Mandalorian Grogu stuff, uh, oh, yeah. before yeah, he man. reunites. So when he, uh, I can't remember what the planet's called, but when he visits like Luke and uh, his temple and, you know, he wants to take him back, but he doesn't want to take away that agency from Grogu and uh, right. he, that longing. So um, that, that's going to be my like most emotional, saddest moment. And that's honestly, when coming up with these, I did not think about that, but you're absolutely right. Like the emotion yeah. conveyed, like when he, when he looks up at the temple and he knows like, Grogu's Grogu's there and one like Grogu looks at the the ship leave the planet and like he can he can sense it through the force like yeah absolutely like, wow oh my am I about to watch Book of Boba Fett and cry tonight I probably probably god damn that's that's a that's a great it's great uh great submission I'm gonna I'm a prequel boy I'm a I, and I'm a slut for Re- Revenge of the Sith and that confrontation between Obi Wan and Anakin like still rings true in my heart and just Knowing what mm-hmm. precedes it, know, knowing what comes after it, that's got to be my final, my final vote for the the category. But Kino takes it. Kino takes it. And with that, we're on to the next category. And a new round of nominees. Hey. We're talking about hypest moment. Hey! Hey. Roller coaster here, 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 here. We're, saying, we're going on a roller coaster, and we're now talking hypest moment. Brought to you by Shared Screens Media Club. That's right, the one show on Shared Screens where we talk video games, music movies all all just the hype shit minus books is it's incredible we do show recaps on the hypest marvel shows hypest star wars shows uh, actually that's this show that you're watching so never mind that but hype movies hype shows so uh be sure to watch shared screens media club uh, and with that let's get into our let's get into our hypest moments y'all let's let's just jump right into it start off with a fucking yeah. banger yeah. The return of the mandalorian dude Oh my god, what's in there? Puck on the table. I can bring you in warm. I can bring you in cold. cold. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude. Ignites the dark saber. Mercs those dudes. Incredible scene. That's how that's how you want the Mando return. Bro, if he Dallas Howard can do no wrong in in the Mandalorian, as far as I'm concerned, man. Exactly. Every one of her episodes kills. Exactly. And uh, I, I honestly, I just hope that his introduction in Mandalorian season three can uh, live up to this. Because my God, what a what an incredible way to start an episode at two in the morning! I'm freaking out. Let's <laughs> let's let's move on to the to the next nominee here. Oh. We got the showdown. You know, the Whoa. final fight. I'll do what I must. Ignites the saber. Uh, has an anime moment where he just force lifts a shit ton of rocks and just starts pelting Vader. Incredible. <sighs> incredible the fight itself you know obviously it's missing the flash from the prequels but i think this was a good combination of uh the a good prequel ground. the sequels uh, sabers yeah, exactly. yeah it's, it's it's definitely higher up than than what we see in in most of the sequel fights though though too there's still some some spinnies and, and stuff yeah. I, I actually i really liked the choreography of this fight a lot like, i thought it was oh, really yeah. really good yeah this absolutely incredible our next nominee mando oh, takes yeah flight bro mm. Boots oh, yeah. up the hot rod, dude. Flies through uh what's the what's the canyon on Tatooine where the pod racers are taking place? Beggars Canyon. A, sp- yes, Beggars Canyon. Mm-hmm. And uh just opens this baby up, goes into space, gets pulled over by the cops. Funny moment, but all the stuff that precedes it <laughs> is just flies off dude. After <laughs> literally. Oh my god. And I just I can't wait to get more uh more of this ship in and in Grogu in the little Mando pod season three. In back. And Grogu in the little pod, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? This is hype <laughs> as hell, man. All right, and our next uh our next nominee, one oh. way out. Oh. Delivering the speech. The boys are climbing. It's hype, it's pandemonium. It's it's incredible, man. It's oh my god, dude. The hard nips just thinking about it, bro. Yeah, how, how can you not? 
and uh that will do it for our nominees on hypest moment y'all what uh what are we feeling what do we want to vote for all right there's one that another one from andor i want to write in and okay. that was give me, marva's funeral give me your shout out the, yeah. when she was giving the speech and you know they say that they left out the line you know fuck the, fuck empire. Fuck the empire like man and uh what was his name brasso using her brick to just smash a stormtrooper's head in and then but you she would have wanted exactly and then you see another guy literally just like trying to strangle a stormtrooper like having right. a headlock there like just that oh, yeah. breaks out and the dude has his grenade there that and then from that point on just pandemonium like exactly dude oh so that is my fantastic right. okay okay um, uh, the Mando takes flight. I think that's going to be my vote just because like Fair you enough. Phantom Menace just holds a very special spot and same with the N1. So getting mm-hmm. to see that in Mando was so cool. Yeah, man. Cause it was totally Finally, unexpected uh, too. So yeah, yeah, exactly. And it has a dope, uh, Lego Lego set that you can mm-hmm. now get too. This is tough. This is tough boys. Right? It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars shows oh, uh, the Mando the whole. They they fed us. They fed it. We were eating good this year, y'all. We were eating mm. good, man. So whatever whatever y'all are feeling. I I personally I personally got go Return of the Mando. Like just having that cold open, and that's yeah. how we start. You click, you go, you sit through the Disney Plus logos and all that, the Star Wars logo, and it's just boom, like this, this the silhouette. Of his figure standing in the doorway. Opens up, goes in, Merc's dudes, Darksaber. Fucking incredible, bro. That's I'm locking it in. I'm locking it in. That's tough, man. Brett, you got your answer yet? <laughs> yeah, so out of these four, I'm I'm gonna go with Return of the Mando because um I'm trying to remember, I don't think we knew we were getting one, let alone two, basically episodes of The Mandalorian, right? And right. so just yeah, like the previous episode had had been like I know a guy, and it played like the the Mandalorian right. theme briefly, but yeah, we didn't. I don't think anyone was expect us to get like a whole episode of of The Mandalorian. Yeah, right. So that that was like unreal, and just a great way to bring that character back after you know a few a little bit time off. But I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna also just bring up two highlights here. I, Absolutely. We, I think we forget about this. We had like a whole fucking like episode with Luke Skywalker in it. And yeah, man. Yeah. I know. I know. Like, it, like they do that AI stuff or whatever, and some people didn't like that. I fucking loved it, and so, um, it was awesome to basically get like an like new like Luke Skywalker content, especially from that era. Right. Return you of know. Jedi, Luke. Because I know whatever like with Mando is like okay, like a little cameo in season two. But we basically mm-hmm. got like a, a full like 30 minutes with them there. And I was like, I did not expect that. It was so awesome. And all the Absolutely. performers did a great job. And and then last but not least, uh, the flashback in Obi-Wan with uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan. That, that that was my one admission. That was my I, one. Yeah, that was, yeah, that, so was, cool. that, was, that was one of my brains. I, I really love so that. so cool because they're those two are the heart of that era and of that trilogy. And so seeing another little slice from that time. Uh, was right. awesome to see and especially uh the way like similar to return of the mando that's just how that episode starts again you yeah. s- you sit through the disney logos boom we're we're on course on young hidden christensen young ish looking hidden christensen like <laughs> those guys and they got the choreographed down like it's just it's incredible yeah that's and the theme for those the are episode. absolute the theme mm-hmm. yeah man i yeah i have I've, two banners bring up the luke uh uh skywalker uh coming back i I just want to give a shout out to that uh screen or that still where you have ahsoka and luke standing next to each other like as somebody who loves the animated shows that was just like me just like freaking out like surreal yeah Yeah. i got to meet rosario dawson too that was really fun she's very cool Mm -hmm. hell yeah that's what you Uh, love so this is a hard one because uh, because there's so (laughs) much um i also it's while while we're giving shout outs i mean i think just because of 
how much the the entire show of Andor like resonated with me. I also, I gotta throw uh, the heist on Aldani in the oh, ring yeah. as well, right? Like that shit was yeah, man, fucking incredible. Uh, yeah. yeah, man, the 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 eye, the point where they, where they're climbing and Tie Fighters are are coming up and they're using like the debris from the eye to like shred the Tie Fighters in half and stuff like that. All all of that was really really fucking cool. And I wanted I wanted to give like just that episode a shout out. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna have to as as much as I I just want to vote for everything and or because I I I'm so in love with the show right. and 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 the the whole like one way out like trilogy of episodes I think is probably my favorite story arc of of, of the entire season as well there is something about the showdown between Obi-Wan and, and Darth Vader that I just I I, I haven't I, again haven't haven't stopped thinking about since I've rewatched it on YouTube like on like a hundred times uh it, it's so cool to to see like yeah vader with with that sort of more active uh battle style that we see like a little closer to what we see in like the the, the prequels and stuff I, I i love the sort of like character story that we get between uh Owen and anakin there of course at, at, at the end that that we also voted for for saddest moments uh it, it's a little it's a little under, under undercut by some by some strange dire- director choices but i don't think that takes away anything uh like from me like what i was feeling in, in the moment when i watched that and every time i watch it after that, right. I, I I love the, the the setting, the choreography, the fight, the the, the conversation. Like that's my vote, man. I I, I, I love Obi Wan Kenobi, especially Ewan McGregor's Obi Wan Kenobi, and so I gotta I, I gotta go with that moment. Absolutely, and that's a that's a perfect moment. The other omission here was uh, Luthen just tearing up some Tie Fighters. Ooh, I was like yeah. a hype moment. He yep. busts out the the dual saber spin move, but so cool. Destroying the track. When, when we're talking about these. Exactly, exactly. But when we're talking mm. about these, like these, yeah. these are just top tier. But yeah, there, there are definitely some admissions and ca- even some categories got this cut. This is but... such a good category. Like, great right, job right. Out. Oh yeah. I mean, I, oh yeah, yeah. And there's so much. I mean, you just think of like what, like never more than twelve. You know, right. uh, yeah. yeah, the, yeah, the eye. Like, oh, there's, there's, there's a lot going on this year. Just that. Last also, oh, never more. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Seeing, uh, you know, Django pilot the starship in that flashback, I was pretty hyped too. That, yeah, I've seen that that's before. Right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uh, seeing things we've seen before. Next category. Hopefully, this is the right category coming up. Let's go, boom! I know. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's. Melshi. Perfect segue. <laughs> Melshi. Let's. Uh, let's freaking just. Let's get into our best cameos. Cause God, Star Wars gave us a lot. The return of Cobb Van, aka Daddy Oliphant. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My God, a great way the, to uh, got the fun going. Let's say, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, you did. And uh, right on to our next, uh, our next nominee. Boom! Oh, the live action yeah, debut I of Cat Bane, bro. Know, dude. Can't yeah. forget, can't forget, massive one this year. Uh, and uh, a much smaller one. Our next nominee. This is for all my music nerds out here. Thundercat hey, hey, as the moderator. Hey. He's great on uh on this on these uh, new Gorillas tracks. Yeah, uh, his is. own music popping all over TikTok. You've seen him do the Tiny Desk uh, concert with Mac Miller. You've seen him on stage with Ariana Grande, and it's just it's just cool because like he has such an iconic look when you when you see him uh, performing and uh, in like just doing his music thing. And he just stuck out uh, in Star Wars, and I what a great unexpected cameo. Uh, that's not a legacy character, something just totally brand new, out of the blue. I thought yeah, that was awesome. Absolutely, uh, and that will move us on to our next. Nominee, Yaddle. Come on, dude. Are you yeah. kidding me? We got Yaddle. Boys by Bryce Dallas Howard, a little lightsaber. Absolute, uh, honestly, probably my, my favorite shit in Tales of the Jedi. Just, I do also love that incredible. that just like kind of confirms that no, that's not how the Yoda species talks. Yoda's yeah. just fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Frank Oz exactly. Said. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is not a four nominee category. This is actually a five nominee category. If you want to hit us with our last nominee there, go. Oh. Um, mm. Book ends the show with him trying to reach out, contact Qui Gon Jinn. And he's uh, he's there in the end. I've been here the whole time. You know, like incredible, incredible final words. That's gonna take us to our voting, y'all. What are we? What are we feeling, man? We got hit with a lot of cameos this uh, this time around. You know what? You pulled the the big guns out first. I got Cobb Vanth, man. Are you kidding me? 
And actually, no. Yeah, I take it. You know what? No, not even Cop Vance because it's the same scene. But like one of my favorite animated characters finally coming into into live action and played in such a way to, to where I'm like, yeah, that's just him. It's Cad Bane. No question yeah. about it. Yeah, I gotta do Cad Bane. Cad Bane. All right, I like it. I like Brett. What are you? What are y'all feeling here? And again, I mean, if you got shout outs, give them to mm-hmm. me. Give them to me. I mean, for me, it's easy. It's Qui Gon. Like. Qui-Gon. He's one of my favorite Jedi's. You know, again, shout out to you know Phantom Menace just being that early '90s nostalgia Star Wars movie for me that I was watching constantly, and right. you know, play the the star the movie tie-in game a lot too on PS One. So it, mm-hmm. it, it's it's Qui-Gon, just easy. Like we were we yeah. were Put- wait, just in Kenobi, we were just waiting for it. Like we knew it was coming. Yeah. We just were yeah. Waiting. Yeah. So. And and they they really did like leave us right until the end like i i thought he's gonna come like very like so many times throughout that show yeah for the fight in the middle of the fight when he's buried under the rocks like i thought obi-wan would have like a spider-man mm-hmm. moment but like qui-gon would like reach out and be like nah, homie you got this but just save him right till the end and plus dude, we'd only ever seen him in animation form until then like this was this was liam neeson coming back putting on the robes again dude and on the wig one more time yeah, man. Brett, how you feeling? Who who, who did you pop off for uh, here? You know. Yeah, and again, I got uh, it. Uh, sorry, uh, just omissions. Luke and Luke and uh, Ahsoka. We we saw them in Mando season two, and that's that's solely why they're not here. But yeah. like, abs- like great for the like. It, it, shout outs, shout outs to, to oh, yeah. both of them for sure. But yeah, Brett, I'll take you in there. I'll probably go with Cad Bane. Um, Cad Bane because of the the shock factor uh his legacy in animation and then bring that to like a wider audience with like the live action stuff so when he showed up we were like what because man nobody knew and he 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 left a big impression right off the bat um yeah and then he kind of got punked at the end but that's okay it's okay and uh, you know what i i, I want to say that's okay too and i'm gonna excuse it because that that shootout that like the western style you know like seeing him off in the distance he like gets closer and closer and he he mar- marks my boy Cobb, and it's so God perfect damn, too I... because it's like the two star wars characters who are like the most just like space cowboys you know right uh yeah. to, to, have, to have them have a have a straight up like western sh- standoff fucking awesome mm-hmm. incredible yeah, I'm gonna give it to Cad Bane as well. I I love the mm-hmm. show. We're getting more. Of, we're getting them in Bad Batch, but to like bring them to live action and have them have some poignant moments was just absolutely incredible this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's that's gonna wrap us up for this category. On to the next one. The best trailer. Ooh. Best trailer. Moving away from the shows. My God, did we have some hype ass Star Wars trailers? Not only were we eating during the shows, we were eating during celebration. We were eating during the game awards. We were, we were just eating for Star Wars trailers. They just randomly dropped that shit on a Wednesday. And I'm like, my God, you're feeding me for the week, Disney. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. First of all, the Andor teaser. This one, we got three Andor trailers throughout the year. I'm talking the celebration one. The first time we saw the show, we got the big guy. We got the bung. Oh yeah, oh, so yeah. good. This one, yeah. so this... good. Yeah, my boy, who's just right, moisturized, happy, and in his lane. Absolutely incredible, <laughs> incredible. But this is Ferris that's a kick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Finale. Exactly. Um, yeah, of course. The, of course, due to Disney, we we're not going to bring these up. So I'm, I'm gonna just tell you which yep. one it is. On to our next. On to our next nominee. We got the Mandalorian season three trailer. Oh, oh my yeah, god, dude. dude! So much mm-hmm. happening, dude. We got yeah, the return dude. of Boba Frick. My fucking my boy is back. We got a uh, this seeming this uh, Siege of Mandalore volume two part two electric boogaloo going on here, where Mandalorians are just fighting Mandalorians now. Lots of implications here. I cannot fucking wait for the show to return. Uh, was another Boba trailer? Tarant, possibly is the bad time. Yeah, God, my god, I can't, I can't wait. Next, uh, next trailer here. Of course, we got shout out. We got shout out the boys. You know, seeing them come back at celebration, absolutely incredible. And I wanted to go to the gameplay reveal. I just this was so hype. Just getting CGI trailers, Anything. you never know yeah. what you're getting, right? And that, like CGI trailers, often sometimes you know depict the game, but like they're they're more for us to 
pick and pull different pieces of and just seeing the tube guy and everyone speculating and everyone like oh my god he's got a vest now like all this shit and you know the yeah, is that a gun the, on his hip what the heck like is yeah. that a gun the yeah. mantis tipping over everyone being like where's grease and again if, if our boy grease is hurt in any i any swear shape to god form, i swear to god uh, God, but this was this was this was an absolute moment, dude. Just seeing the name Jedi Survivor, bro. Oh, Survivor, that's oh. the code name. Before that, we we're calling it Fallen Order Two, and just fucking Jedi Survivor, bro. Incredible, incredible trailer. Our next nominee is gonna be that Bad Batch season two yeah. trailer. I know we just got one. I'm talking about the one from Celebration with the trap beat. Oh my god, that shit went god. fucking hard. We're seeing the boy, the crew back. We've got new outfits. Our wallet, our wallets are gonna be hurting because my god, we gotta recollect all the black black series and uh, all the Lego sets. And uh, we got the little Wookiee guy back with the lightsaber. This this trailer just went hard, dude, and it had no right going as hard as it fucking did. And that beat, yeah. just shout out to that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. More trap beats in in Star Wars. I I know we no, talked dude. about drums. I know we talked about guitars with Andor. But my God, give me some motherfucking trap beats in Star Wars, bro. But that's that. That does it for all my uh for all my nominees for this category. What are what are we feeling here, y'all? What was the best Star Wars trailer we got in 2022? Tough, some tough ones. It is. Again, of again. these. Oh yeah. Of these, I think I'm gonna go Mando season three. There's something about that's like we're gonna be seeing Mandalore in live action. We get a shot of Bo-Katan on the throne, right? Uh, while while the the voiceover of that is is talking about how the the dark saber can only be won in combat, right? Uh, I mean, it, it it's all these things to where, to where I'm like, I it's like we still don't have a. It comes out like soonish, like like early next year, like two three months away. And we still yeah. don't have a great idea of what the plot of this story is. We know we know like a couple a couple things just leading in from from last season, but but it's like we don't know where this show is gonna is gonna go. Who's going to appear in it? I mean, you know, Dave Filoni is already promising like huge stuff. Like I think this season is going to be enormous, and that just like sets the groundwork, gets you ready for like, hey, this is something new. This is something different. Right. And I'm excited. I'm really excited for it. I got I got to go Mando season three. Just big shout yeah. out to to the trap beat in, in Bad Batch season two. Though. I'm watching that trailer right now. It goes hard. I fucking it goes love hard, that match. Bro. It goes hard. It's, it's a really fucking good trailer. <laughs> right, dude? Brett, Alec, how are we feeling about these trailers, man? What are we... What are we feeling? Well... I, Arguments can be made for all of them, dude. That's right. That's the thing, bro. Right? Yeah, because Chris... He's kind of winning me over with that Mandalorian stuff just because, like... We, we know it's going to take a... Pl- or not... Or, be about all about Mandalore because he wants to win back his honor or get back his right. honor, like the armor was telling him. Right. Um, and man, all signs are pointing. Just give me Sabine in live action in season three. Mm. Like it's dealing with Mandalore. Like come on, and you're leading. It will tie in so well with Ahsoka. Like it's like again we we talked about it coming together. It's all tying together. I'm I'm not the biggest for theories, but. When we when we watch Mando walk past those three other Mandalorians, like uh, the screenshot I sh- shared for the uh, for the nominee uh, bit there, what if he's walking towards Sabine? What if Sabine's ship is landing and all the Mandos are like, "Yo!" All the Mandalorians are like, "Yo!" Someone's here to see you, and he's walking past them all. You know, the leader, and he's and Sabine's like, "Yo, I've come for the saber." Bro, come oh. on, dude. <laughs> come on, and Baba Frig. And we got the tree of salacious crumbs. Like, there's just, like, 12, like, mm. salacious crumbs hanging out in that one tree just all out. Ah, you know, like, dude, come on. They're <laughs> Kowaki and lizard monkeys. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're salacious crumbs to me, and I, I refuse to refer them to <laughs> you can anything get, else. Bro, you can go get one at Galaxy's Edge. It's got a little magnet in its butt, so you can stick it under your shoulder, oh, and then nice. he sits there, and he laughs, and it's awesome. That's I dope. do. Gotta say, I know it wasn't officially released, but the couple times I did see it on TikTok, shout out to the Ahsoka uh, trailer. Oh, yeah. Um, seen that, but I, as much as I love that, you know, the concept of Mandalore Season 3 and this trailer, I gotta go with Jedi yeah. Survivor. Like, Fallen Order was one of my favorite games of 2019. It yeah. slightly, or er, was my runner up to game of the year, which was uh, 
Fire Emblem Three Houses just because of how much I love that game. But um, fair enough. Jedi Survivor. It's like it's you know between both this announcement trailer and the trailer we just got last week. Right, man. It's shaping up to just be such an amazing follow up. The uh, yeah, Uncharted yeah. Two in this series. It's, some might in, say in a. It, in the a Assassin's stacked Creed year of, of of games lineups, yeah, like the like God of War two, like it, in a, in a stacked year already, it's it's genuinely looking like it, it might end up being like a goatee contender, like yeah. absolutely, and that uh, makes me want to mention something. By the time you're watching this, we will have a media club out on our most anticipated games of 2023. It will be coming out within. Uh, if you're watching this sometime, uh, it'll be coming out within you know the next week week or so after this upload so just keep an eye out for that just hit, hit subscribe on top just... of that speaking of jedi survivor by by the time you're watching this if you haven't yet we also did a, a breakdown of the jedi survivor gameplay reveal trailer so don't miss that either exactly Got also i gotta change my answer man i found no, I dude got... we had you <laughs> i gotta i gotta i gotta change my answer man i found i found somebody that did like a full version of the the bad batch trap theme and and i just watched the trailer again it's a really he fucking good trailer i'm going bad yeah. batch dude i'm going bad batch it's a good fucking trailer hell yeah man brett brett i need you to toss your hat in the ring bro what are you what are you feeling man uh, yeah it, it's it's between jedi survivor and mando for me um i might have to go mando just because um and, and the way i, I kind of like do like the the just the mental like gymnastics is like i don't want to know too much about survivor so like i'm like glad right. that like we don't know too much about it through the trailers oh, yeah. uh and, and since you did this initial one which is great too uh and it was all like kind of like cinematics piece here together so i'm gonna go mando but i do want to do a little not like you know honorable mention of the kenobi trailer like the not the teaser but the like official trailer. trailer yeah that was yeah, really hard. that was that was the one where i was like i was watching it back and i was like i cannot help i love i love kenobi and i love just like an of, itch yeah <laughs> <laughs> i love kenobi i love that i love the shots of fortress inquisitorious but i was like my god we got some great ass trailers this year that brought the hype and mm. yeah yeah but i i'm i'm right there with you i i think i gotta go mandalorian season three as well i'm Especially watching the trailer again. again i'm flipping back around <laughs> we, got we, got back we got locked phones we got locked phones we got locked phones yeah i'm going i'm going mando season three just for all the implications the the shots that we're getting like mando sleeping in the cockpit with yoda on like with baby grogu baby yoda on the lap like uh, adorable all the like dog fight stuff we see with the naboo and what fucking star fighter uh and of course babu freak my man like, uh, like hey! that, that's, the, that's the end all be all card you bro you toss babu freak yeah. in something yeah yeah I, ju I just saw Mando. i just watched the shot where the death watch like fall out of the out of the ship and activate their jetpacks and go everywhere no i'm sorry sorry bad batch it's mando mando yeah mando my god all right locked in done deal mando season three which brings us to our next category Tying it back to Mando three season three, our most anticipated project of twenty twenty three. My God, because twenty twenty three is shaping up to be a really good year. There are going to be some Saturn missions of this, of course. You know, we don't have hard release dates. I'm going with, uh, you know, I went with kind of what we what we know, but let's just let's just get into a chronological order. Right off the rip, Bad Batch season two, dude. January January 4th. starting to, cool. January fourth, less than a month away. We're starting off hot. Back with the crew, uh, for uh, what fourteen weeks? We got some doubled up, uh, some doubled up yeah. episodes yeah, yeah. on a couple weeks, but 14, 13 weeks straight, and that show is gonna overlap with our next nominee here. The fucking Mandalorian season three. Oh. God, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And then we got we got some up in the air stuff, some stuff that's you know seemingly coming out uh, that we've heard twenty twenty three. Let's uh, let's just get into it. With the with our next nominee, Visions Volume Two returning. Yeah, you know mm. we went we went our year without Visions, and uh, I can't wait to see what all these uh, studios have cooked uh, cooked up next. Uh, I believe we're getting more studios, more Western studios in on Visions too. So just having uh, having it's some more, more. It's more studios from everywhere. Right. So yeah. just, so just uh, very art styles, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, dude. And just seeing what uh what all these what all these uh studios cook up within the Star Wars universe is I I'm here, I'm here for all of it. I absolutely adore Star Wars fishing, so mm-hmm. same. I'll do it for that. But uh next uh next nominee, Ahsoka. Oh my god, reportedly late late twenty twenty three we're here. If we get this next year. Oh my gosh. Absurd. Right? Absurd year for Star Mando Wars. Season this is... And Ahsoka. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? A hype year. Next, uh, our next nominee, though, is Ooh, the Acolyte. Yeah. We, the, the other one I was seeing was the Skeleton Crew, the John Watts show. Obviously, yeah, John right. Watts coming off, you know, the, one of the best comic book movie trilogies of all time with the Spider-Man uh, movies. They said 2023, but I, we, all we know is John Watts is attached to it and Jude Law. Uh, versus like mm-hmm. the acolyte, we're actually seeing set photos come out. Uh, yeah. And so I feel yeah. like I feel like they, they could do a hard push for this to be uh, like m- maybe similar to Book of Boba Fett, where they start off like the week of Christmas and then it like primarily releases throughout um, mm-hmm. 2024. But I, I could see this like starting at least late 2023. Uh, but mm-hmm. my God, we got some. Some great things to look forward to, but that'll that'll do it for this category. I know I know there's no fallen survivor. I want to stick to mainly shows here because yeah, survivor would take a survivor, dude. Come on, survivor. Would I mean, survivor take. would take it. Yeah, I mean, for I sure. mean, I don't know. I've been looking forward to Ahsoka like so much right. since it was been announced, right? Because dude. the way that they end, like the way Rebels ends, it's like they it's so hopeful, but at the same time, they're like they Sabine and Ahsoka are on a mission. To find Ezra. Right. You know, slight spoilers, but yeah. It's like, exactly. they're on that mission, and it's like, you know that Ahsoka, she's on a mission, on that mission, to find somebody else, in hopes to find Ezra. Right. So, it's like, knowing most likely, that's what that show's going to be about. Yeah. Just has me so and- high, because it's basically Rebels 2. <laughs> Right, and we've we've had Filoni say this is like the space samurai show. I believe was like the direct quote. Like, oh really? Dawson, when he when someone, uh, I believe it was Filoni. Like the the quote they got from him was like, yeah, this is the most uh, like a samurai, which makes mm-hmm. sense given oh, yeah. the final fight. Like when she shows up in Mando season two for the first time, like mm-hmm. that that duel she I mean, has. She was with always kind of uh, like. She, yeah, she was yeah. always like really heavily based on a lot of like samurai tropes to be to mm-hmm. to, to begin yeah. with, and 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 then yeah, they straight up have like a, a, a fucking a uh, yeah a fucking like samurai duel in that episode of, of Mando, which was awesome. It's still one of my favorites. Exactly. And so if Mando if Mando is the cowboy and Ahsoka is the samurai, like God dang, dude, we are we are in a great era for mm-hmm. Star Wars Filoni shows. So yeah, but what are Ahsoka's we gonna be my feeling? vote. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it. Chris, Brett, any anything you want to toss out, shout out, uh, anything? That's I mean, the only other thing I would have would be like Jedi Survivor, which of of course we're right. omitting because that would be the one. Uh, and, <laughs> on, and on that note, I, I think just in terms of these projects, I'm interested in. Um, I don't feel like I've seen enough of Ahsoka the Acolyte yet to to really be like, yeah, the, this is mm-hmm. the one I'm the most excited for. I'm very excited about them. I love I, I love Ahsoka and, and the Acolyte just being set in the High Republic is, is really really interesting. But it but it's like I'm so invested in the Mandalorian at, at this point. And that yeah. trailer was so good that uh, yeah. I gotta give it to I, I gotta give it to 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 Mando. Even though I'm also really looking forward to Bad Batch, but I mean right. Mando is like this is the big one with, yeah. with this the 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 way that Lucasfilm and Filoni himself have been hyping up season three like. This one's going to be enormous, and, and I, I I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Brett, how are you feeling, man? Yeah, I, I'm really excited for all five of these. Uh, I think, like, uh, with the casting of the Acolyte, I'm intrigued just because we're bringing people from all parts of, like, the uh, entertainment industry. Um, yeah. Mando is, like... Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen, but like that's a known quantity at this point. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go with just the potential and hype of Ahsoka. Like if we get Ezra yeah. and stuff like that, like I'm going to lose okay. my mind. So I'm going with that. Okay. Got the potential to be the most hype one on this list, like for sure. I, yeah, the biggest show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And and the big bad. Don't want to spoil it for anybody. Right. Yet. Right. 
Well, I mean, they I'm say torn. Commando. Oh, true. Yeah, Thrawn. Yeah, yeah. it's Thrawn. Yeah. yeah. Thrawn. Thrawn. Potentially. Potentially Thrawn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, th- I think y'all have won me over with the Ahsoka argument. There's so much potential there. And, like, ab- absolutely, you know, Mandalorian, Return of the King, dude. Ooh, we kn- like it, it's it's gonna be hype, but like we we've, we've seen it, but the potential Ahsoka has, I I think I gotta go right there with y'all. Go with that. I'm, I'm torn though, but yeah, lock it in. Let's go, Ahsoka. Ahsoka takes it. Hey. But that's uh that's next year in Star Wars shows. Let's get back to this year in Star Wars shows. One last category Ooh. here. Oh. Show of the year. Show of the year. What? I got my answer Did already. I, I I I set this up and I was like. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I know. I, I, I know. <laughs> well, I still like someone threw it anyway. <laughs> Book of Boba Fett, obviously. Go to show. Why did I do? Why did I do best fucking piece of music and then just have it be? <laughs> I mean, the, o- the only <laughs> answer is the Boba Fett theme. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the finale remix where the lyrics are just his name over Boba and over Fett. again. <laughs> <laughs> Boba. <laughs> Uh, Next one, obviously, Kenobi. Mm, you know, fanta- fantastic yeah, show for all yeah. my all my fellow prequel fans out there. And that was followed up by Goddamn the King Andor. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Incredible show. And uh just just for for a little little shout out here, we got our next nominee, Tales of the Jedi, you know. Uh great great miniseries. Inject more of these into my veins. Oh yeah. Please. Yeah, as seriously. we said on the podcast, like pump out five of these a year please <laughs> like i want them i want them so bad mm-hmm. but that uh that does it for show of the year let's let's get into voting all right I'll, i mean I'll, I'll, it's andor <laughs> right <laughs> we we were saying it for weeks when we we're doing those podcasts but it is just on another level than the rest of these yeah. shows every way yeah. shape and form Absolutely. Chris, you doubling down? And or? Oh, I mean, look, there's only one of these shows was was not only like the best show of the year, but also one of the strongest Star Wars projects of all time. Like, I, I think this is, yep. I think Andor is is up there with some of the best. Like, it's it's some of the best Star Wars I've ever seen. It's, it's one of the most well-produced shows I've, I've, I've ever watched. It's it's Andor and it's not close. <laughs> like yeah. I love all of these other shows and Andor in my mind is it was just a country mile like it like just I loved it. Ahead. Yeah, I, it's, yeah. I, I loved it. Shout out to Tales of the Jedi though for being way better than I expected it to be. It's it, absolutely gorgeous. It did one one thing that I thought was impossible, which was make Dooku interesting. And then uh we got more Ahsoka and I'm never mad at more Ahsoka. Exactly. Brett. So best show, I'm going to go with Andor. No surprise there. Just right. uh, high quality uh, all around. Uh, it, you know, it kind of, it wasn't like a normal Star Wars project, but that didn't make it like a bad thing. It, I think, s- succeeded because of that. Uh, right. I don't know if uh, we'll get to it, but like my favorite moment though is is the, the Dooku stuff from Tales of the Jedi. Honestly, that was my favorite, yeah. like, and, but mm-hmm. like that whole show wasn't the best, but those those episodes were my favorite. So yeah, yeah, they were incredible. I I I, I said it during our finale episode, like objectively, uh, you know, Andor's just Andor's just top tier. The writing's better, the visuals better, everything. It's better, but who's better? My house better, my home better. <laughs> exactly, better pizza, better all that stuff. But for me personally, it just Kenobi hit a lot more for me, especially like mm-hmm. having grown up uh, with Revenge of the Sith and, and um, like you know having those those action figures from that line, and you know the fight on Mustafar, and every every kid on the playground was Team Anakin and Team Obi Wan, right? And, all that shit and see, seeing those guys come back and all that all the love for it i like i personally in my heart of hearts i gotta go like kenobi like super fair for me personally yep. but all these all these banners like like sure kenobi and book of boba fett have some you know some low points but like 
I I I I'd, I'd say there's no bad Star Wars show this year. Yeah, yeah everything was uh, great. Yeah, I th- yeah, uh, yeah. But Obi Wan Kenobi had some had some missteps, but like overall, it's like I still enjoyed them a lot. Like, oh, like there, yeah. there, there, there are a lot of moments from from all of these shows that I just really, really enjoy. I just think you know, it's like personally, like Andor kind of kind of walked off with it, but they, every, everything about all of these shows, like, yeah, I, I like them all overall. Mm-hmm. Maybe a yeah. little less green in Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> the green tint. <Yeah. laughs> that's uh, that's valid. But that does that for this, at least now. But there's one more thing, one final category, a surprise category out of nowhere. Alec, hit, hit us with it. Game of the year, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. What could it be? What could Shit. it be? Going to the nominees first for Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker <laughs> Saga, dude. Second nominee. Lego Star Wars wins Game of the Year. Third nominee, dude. Third nominee. Let's go Lego Star Wars, Skywalker Saga. Oh, my oh. God. Clean sweep. One oh. last nominee. One last oh. nominee. Give it to me. Oh, never mind. I'm saying that's it. <laughs> Oh, the Skywalker oh, hold saga. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, I gotta say, you know, I gotta say, Lego the Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, <laughs> means a lot to me in my in my heart of hearts. But it's like if I'm gonna vote on this list here, I gotta go with Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. You know, it's just it's the most Amen. Lego Star Wars of these Lego Star Wars is. You know, what other game can you play every single movie? Every you can play as every fucking character that's ever literally, been in a all, goddamn Star Wars the, movie and more. With all the DLC they're releasing, it's literally almost every single character you could ever want to play as. Exactly, <laughs> Brett. You, Brett. It sounded like you had some contentions to these picks, man. What, what, are, what are you feeling? What's going through your head, dude? First off, do you even have the platinum in this game, man? <laughs> I'm working on it. It's, it's <laughs> no, so it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> right. I'm chipping away at it too, and it's like I, it's I, hard, man. It's I get, a tough I, one. I get, I get scared. Uh, I yeah, no, 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 we got. We got two re-releases. We got Force Unleashed and KOTOR 2, man. So I'm voting for KOTOR 2. Oh, I for- It's one of my favorite mean- Star Wars projects ever. Yeah, you, yeah, you mean the, the busted-ass version that doesn't even have the, the restored content mod in it yet? Yeah. yeah. It's coming. And honestly, uh-huh. even, the, even the vanilla version, I think, is still fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I honestly, I completely forgot Unleashed, about though. those, but... but you know, my I, vote, I did too. Um, I, was, I was like, I was like, isn't this the only Star Wars game that came out this year? <laughs> I got my copy of Force and Loose in the mail today, so like, hell let's yeah, go. limited run games. Let's, let's do it. Oh, did you got the limited run one. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, nice. I, uh, I actually, I really liked the Switchboard. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really, really good. It was, it was surprising. Yeah. It's, it's that was my first time playing that version of the game. I had no idea that it was like longer than it's than not, like a yeah. 360 PS3 counterpart. It's not as cinematic, but it's better than the like PS3. Version. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta yeah. agree. Uh, I did, I do really like Knights of the Republic too. But yeah, Lego Sa- Le- Skywalker Saga. Mm-hmm. That's that's a hell of a game, man. Oh yeah, amen. It was oh, really yeah. ambitious for them to be like, hey, you remember how all the previous games had one hub world? What, what if I... every world was a hub world? <laughs> exactly. You know what? I'm changing my vote to Skywalker Saga. Serial cards in the game. Serial yeah, Karn is in the game. Yeah, you can play Serial <laughs> Karn. Game of the year, bro. It is, yeah, it, <laughs> it, it's literally Smash Bros. all over again, bro. Everyone is here. Everyone is here, dude. You, you thought of them? They're they're in the game. They're in the game, no, and that, that that's my vote as well. Literally, Clean sweep. Like, almost four hundred characters just in the base game alone. Yeah, you can yeah. play as Han Solo and Carbonite. Yeah, <laughs> or Han Solo from hit movie Solo. Great. Like, God Goddamn. Yeah, yeah God please. Damn. If you think I don't always keep that skin unlocked, yeah. like just ready to go, please. Exactly, dude. <laughs> but uh, that that does it. That's it. There's one last slide. You know, just uh, may may the force be with you. That's 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 the message I want to end off on. Uh, this was fantastic. Thank you for uh, putting up with my shit and letting me uh, do this, y'all. Uh, this was a test run just to celebrate Star Wars this year. Like I said, biggest year in Star Wars since 2019. And we're looking at another one in 2023, so I would love to do this over again. Uh, so y'all in the, in the comments, uh, let me know if you like this. Let me know your personal votes for all these categories. Uh, and next year, I might open it up, take some fan some like Ooh. some fan votes, some fan submitted categories. So you know, if if y'all love this, you know, let us let us know. But that's I'll do it for us. Any final messages, y'all? Any any last things you want to say before we uh before we sign off here? Star Wars, um, good. Star Wars, Star Wars is good. good. Uh, Django is in two projects this year, and the Denver Broncos stink. 
Yeah. Denver Broncos <laughs> fucking suck. They're losing to the Chiefs right now as we speak, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and NBs around the world, Star Wars good. Star Wars good. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and again let us know what you thought of these and vote in the category and we will see you at the next. This is the waypoint. Count Dooku.